Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me in a new video. So in today's video, I'll be going to demonstrate horse ears and forelock in graphite. So I decided to do one in graphite and then um, next to that, I will be doing one in colored pencil. You'll, you will be seeing that one soon, so stay tuned for that. And then in this video, I'm going to do the one in graphite. So I have the full version of this tutorial in real time narrated available over on my Patreon for the $4 tier. So if you're interested in drawing along with me, you can check that out there. And then let's get started with this video. So let's discuss utensils first. So I will put a list of the materials in the description below, but I will go through them real quick. So. For a paper, I use Canson 1557, 180 grams. And then for pencils, I use a B by Faber-Castell, then a 4B by Stabilo, an 8B by Faber-Castell again, and then my Pentel mechanical pencil, and my Tombow Mono Zero eraser, and then finally a blending stump. So that's what I use for um, pencils. I don't really have a reason for using Stabilo and Faber-Castell pencils mixed with each other. With each other, I just had them laying around, so I just decided to use these ones together. I ended up not using the B one though, so I only used the 4B, the 8B and then my me mechanical pencil. The mechanical pencil is 0.3mm and it has a 2B lead. And I really like this one for sketching, but also for very fine detail. So what I start out with is outlining the ears. And I'm already putting some texture in there. So I'm not tightly outlining them, but I am putting in some fur texture already by I'm varying in my strokes. Make them, uh, make them stick out a little bit more and this way you already create a furry effect in the ears without having done any, sh any shading and as you can see on the reference photo the ears are pretty fluffy so we're going to recreate that and I already start outlining the forelock as well and I did some indenting so with the embossing tool I am creating some indents in the shape of hairs and this way when you go over with graphite those lines will show up, those will stay white. And that's very handy for hairs like this where you can see the white hairs and the darker hairs mixed with each other. And that's usually a pretty difficult effect to recreate. And the reference I use is from Pixabay by the way. So um, you can find that on Pixabay and use it too if you want to. I think it's an Arabian horse, I really like Arabians. I'm drawing multiple Arabians this month, so yeah, really nice ears, really nice demo piece as well. And after outlining, I start out with a bit of shading. So I work in layers, so I start out pretty lightly and I'm taking my Pentel Mechanical Pencil and I start mapping out the darkest areas in the ear and that's usually the center area. And you can see that the outer edges are pretty dark as well. So I'm just drawing lines, as you can see, I'm creating the direction of the fur growth already. So I'm really looking at the reference photo and find out in which direction the hairs are growing. And I'm just mapping that out carefully and then after putting in the first layer, I take my blending stump and with that I can smooth out that graphite and create a nice base tone for the rest of the layers. So when working in black and white, it's all about contrast and values. So you can't work with color. So you have to create the realistic effect by recreating the textures and the contrast. So now I start putting in some more contrast by adding some darkness with the 4B pencil. And I noticed that the Stabilo graphite pencil felt really soft compared to the Faber-Castell ones. From the Faber-Castell line I use the 9000 series 
but the one I'm using here is from Stabilo and it's really soft so I really like that. If you're looking for a softer pencil I would recommend to try these out. And with that graphic pencil I'm just darkening up the center area and the outer edges creating some more darkness in there. And then I am going over with the blending stump again. Still I'm not pushing very hard so I keep it quite light. That way I will still be able to erase some highlights and put some more layers on top later. And then after blending out that second layer, I am going to pull out some highlights. So I take my Tombow Mono Zero Eraser and I make sure it has a very sharp edge to it. So I just take my um, knife and cut it off to a very sharp point. And with that I can pull out some highlights. So with that I can um, make those clumps of hair stand out a bit more. So with this ear I'm not focusing on drawing individual hairs. I'm more focusing on creating the clumps of hair. You can see in the reference photo that you can't really see those individual hairs either. So you can see these very obvious clumps of hair sticking out of the ear and that's what I'm focusing on. So um, yeah, try to do that too when you're drawing longer fur or ears like this. And when drawing shorter fur you can focus on the individual hairs a bit more. So I pulled out some highlights real quick and then I started putting in the darkest value. So I'm really building that up. And now I'm switching to the 8B from Faber Castell. And I'm really darkening up that center area and the outer area a bit more, the outer edges. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more graphite tutorials. I don't really have a lot of graphite tutorials on my channel since I started working in colored pencil and pastels a lot more. But if you'd like to see more basic tutorials, more graphite tutorials, let me know in the comments. And then again I took my blending stump and blended that in a little bit more. I didn't really want harsh lines in there so I tried to keep it very smooth by using the blending stump. Some people find that cheating, um, I don't. So feel free to use blending stumps, it's just another tool to create a smooth surface. And then the first ear was finished so I moved on to the second one. And with this one I used the exact same technique. I started out with the uh, mechanical pencil, mapping out the direction of the fur and already putting in some darker values. Then I blended it out with my blending stump. And then I moved on to my 4B pencil again. So it's very important to keep looking at your reference, find out in which direction the hairs are growing. Because if you draw them in the wrong direction, your drawing will look off quite quickly. So really make sure to dive deep into your reference photo, really see all those details in there and then you can choose which details you're going to draw in and which you're going to leave out. But make sure to notice your reference photo, the details and the, and the contrast and from there you can um, create your drawing. So then after blending again and pulling out some highlights, I moved on to my A to B again and really darkened up that center area of the ear. And then after the ear was finished, I moved on to drawing the back of the ear. So for the backs of the ear, I did focus more on drawing individual hairs as that fur is a lot shorter. So although this horse is light, so a bit of gray colored with a bit of red in it, although the fur is light, you can still shade, you can still add darker values to the fur and that will give it a more 3D effect. So don't be afraid to shade lighter fur because it's really necessary to get a realistic effect. So for the forelock, I started out with using my mechanical pencil as well. So I started out with mapping out the direction of the hairs. There are also some different sections in the hairs as you can see. So I started putting some value in there by creating the shadows in between the hairs. 
and that way creating the different sections of hair. Some hairs are darker than others as well. You can clearly see some darker sections there. So I'm creating those by using my blending stump to blend it all out and putting some more pressure on the areas that are a bit darker. So this hair is quite frizzy. It's in between curly and straight, I would say. So I'm trying to recreate that by drawing frizzy lines. So I'm keeping my lines quite random and I hold my pencil quite close to the, ed to the end. That way you get quite natural lines. You, want, you don't want them to be too static. So that's what I'm focusing on. And then I am taking my 8B and darkening up those darker sections in the hair. So just like with the ears, I'm focusing on creating the shadows in between the hairs, not necessarily on drawing all those individual hairs you can see on the reference photo. So this is more of a quick study to me, not a photorealistic drawing, but still you can see what it is. And I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out. I also drew a bit of the mane that are flowing alongside the back of the ear. So I, I put a little bit of that in to give a little more shape to the ear as well. And then finally I took my Mono Zero eraser to pull out some final light hairs. And that is when the drawing was finished. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If there's another part of the horse that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments as well. And don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.